I think trade has traditionally been uh, centered around large countries where their production and consumption is majority of that. So, I mean, of course, the largest um, US, China, etc., and Europe. The rise of trading hubs, it's going to be um, where it's, whether it's based on location or infrastructure or facilities. I think for the trading hubs, whether it's Singapore, Dubai, it's going to be a lot around the investment around into physical and um, soft, soft types of infrastructure. So the, I think the, what will happen, I feel, is that trading hubs that invest heavily into these areas and facilitate trade in terms of um, services, in terms of infrastructure, will actually be benefit. So, yeah, you know, I think there, there could be, um, as one wise person once told me, there could be an opportunity for Dubai actually to be like the data Switzerland of the Middle East. So I think what the, the technology that have the greatest impact would actually be more of the basic fundamental things of converting paper to, to digital, so the e-bill of lading, etc. And then there is such a huge data lake of information that actually one of the best ways is actually to sort of bring those information, integrate those information, and bring it down to the new world. AI could be at a base level, it's about applied statistics. And if we have that kind of understanding about it, it's about then having a wide range of um, data for it to actually improve. So coming back to the question of like, what's the, what's the impact of AI on the trade? So I think two ways, right? First, in the, in the trade, I mean, in the cross-border trade of services, I think that trend it's, we have seen in customer services um, whether it's digital services, marketing, design, I would feel that because of the event of generative AI, a lot of these sort of services would actually be brought closer to where the, the company or the client is. So instead of uh, you know, sending, sending a work halfway around the uh, globe to somewhere um, because it's cheaper and lower cost, you, I would say that a lot of companies, including ourselves, actually bring the services work to closer where we are and enhance it with AI. But on the goods front, what we are actually seeing a lot uh, that in, in terms of AI, is really about that AI, because uh, it's about applied statistics, is bringing down a lot the cost of the machine prediction. So the impact would definitely be quite large in terms of both on the services front and a good goods front where we actually see a lot more better predictions when it comes to demand and supply. There's a huge demand uh, and interest to implement AI for business efficiencies and for the predictions um, as, as I highlighted previously. The, the barrier is that most of the companies out there do not have their data in place. The biggest impact is about how to move from, I would still say, traditional modes like pen and paper to a bot more digital. And secondly, how to integrate and, and join together all this large domain knowledge of years and years of experience and to make it ready for the, for the, for the new age.